What's up guys, QC here with another video and as you can see in the title of this one, uh, this one is a little bit more special, it's not about a tutorial that I made, it was about a little experiment that I wanted to share. So basically I was looking for a way to kill stage 4 or stage 5 fire dragon without having to actually fight them. So my whole plan was basically to try to drown them and uh, that's the whole purpose of this video. It's basically trial and error to be able to acquire more information about the behavior of dragon underwater. I do not really recommend it uh, to try on survival since the preparation that you need to do is overwhelming. Since it's a trial and error type of video, I'm going to explain the whole thought process. And so if you want only the end result, you can just go at the end of the video. But of course, I recommend that you watch everything. And as you can see, my first attempt was something really basic. It's just you know creating a small structure in the air and basically fill it of water. And afterward, just delete the, the layer underneath the structure. So all the water that's contained inside is going to fall. Uh, down. And basically it's gonna look like a waterfall type of system but we just forgot to mention we're doing it in the air since it's we're imagining that the sleeping dragon is right below the water now there's only the block uh, that we need to remove and the trap is ready or at least the first version of it is now it's uh, the first attempt that uh, we're trying uh, we're summoning the fire dragon as you can see it can float aka swim a little uh, so it can go towards where there's hair so now we're gonna be able to see right now it's actually starting to take damage so yes it's possible to drown the fire dragon but we need to be able to make him stay long enough in the water for him to take damage it is taking two damage per second while they're drowning underwater so now that we know that it is possible to make a dragon drown now we're just gonna modify a little bit the current trap that we have to make basically some walls and a top so the dragon cannot escape and gonna be stuck underwater that way he will take damage until he dies. Now that we just finished the modification, we're gonna try once again with summon another dragon. It's it's a stage three. It's trap, it cannot go anywhere and it's starting to take damage just to show you all from the outside. And then if you can see him through the wall, he is not capable of breathing and so he will take damage till he die just to speed up the process i will hit him a few times but this will not change the outcome but for this trap to be useful we need to be able to use it on stage four or five dragons in stage three are already awake so we cannot use it on them since we need time to build it now it took me a while but i've finally been able to summon a stage four fire dragon and as you can see right there it can actually destroy the wall of our trap so it's kind of make it all useless if we're building it with cobblestone so i decided to go with a more solid material the obsidian which is the most solid material you can get in survival so that way your trap is still gonna be able to be used in survival since it's a bit harder to get that material in survival i'm gonna try to use as little as possible while still being able to make a useful trap so as you can see in fast forward, right now I'm putting only certain blocks of obsidian here and there uh, to be able to try to trap uh, the fire dragon inside the trap. Uh, since it's a larger entity, I don't need to, you know, make it a full wall. Just, you know, certain block here and there should be enough to trap it inside. Since it's a larger entity and that will need an area of several blocks to be able to escape the trap, as you can see on the screen right now, I summon quite a couple of dragons until I got a stage 4. As you can see, the space in between the obsidian blocks are a little bit too big that allowed the dragon to escape. Now I just have to put a couple of obsidian blocks here and there to be able to block the dragon from uh, getting outside. There is no specific way to put them as long as they're doing the job done. For my part, I decided to put them this way since I thought it was the best way I could use as little as possible of obsidian block while still getting the job done. So that's how our final version looked like. Once again, after a while, we've been able to summon a stage 4 fire dragon. As you can see, he's taking damage till he gonna die. Here's a proof that it is a stage 4 dragon. It's exactly the same plan for the stage 5. It just is gonna take longer since they have more HP. Anyway, you know the deal. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm also going live a couple of times per week on my Twitch channel, so go check it out with the link in the description. If you have any question or suggestion, you can always join my Discord, link in the description. It's easier to reach me that way. Thank you for watching.